Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how I see danger in us What is up guys, I'm Elena. Welcome to today's video. So I got a lot of messages from you guys asking how I make my cute little personalized candle sacks. So in today's video, I thought, why not take you guys through and show you how simple it is to make these by using the screen print method. Anyway, all the products used in the video today will be listed in the description below. You guys can head over to my Amazon shop. Anyway, let's jump into the video. All right, let's get started. So Speedball has this really convenient kit. You can get this on Amazon. I'll list all the information below, but it comes with Speedball paint. So this is a paint specifically for fabric. We've got directions and they are pretty simple to read, which I like. It's got photos that kind of give you an idea as to what you're gonna be doing. And here we've got a popsicle stick. I'm guessing it's so you can just scrape off the extra ink that is on there so that way it doesn't get it everywhere. Then we have our transfer paper. So they give you a couple sheets of the transfer paper. And then we have our vinyl paper. So what we'll do is use the Cricut machine to cut out the vinyl and apply the transfer paper onto the vinyl. So I'm gonna take you guys through and show you exactly how to do it. It is so easy, anybody can do this. And then of course the screen that we'll be using to do the screen printing. All right, so I've got everything laid out. I've got um, my little bags here, these sacks. I also got these on Amazon. We've got a tool to use to weed out all of the letters and then a piece of cardboard that I'm going to slide in between the sack so that way the ink doesn't soak through. Of course our popsicle stick and our squeegee and our screen. And then of course a heat gun. This kind of helps speed up the time of the drying process of the ink. Here I'm going to start weeding out all of the letters. So I am basically going to leave the backing and pull out all of the letters. So it's usually it's the opposite when you're doing, um, you know, like vinyl printing or, you know, iron on, you're going to pull off the backing and leave the letters. Well, in this case, we're going to pull all the letters out. All right, next, we're going to peel back our transfer paper and we're going to carefully pull this back because you don't want it to curl up on you. Then next, we're going to just lay that right on top of our vinyl. We want to make sure we don't get any bubbles in it and we're just going to smooth that out really good. Probably take the squeegee and just flatten all that out, get all those bubbles out. Next what you're going to do is pull the white backing of the vinyl paper, pull that off and leave the vinyl stuck to the transfer paper. So. Sounds confusing, but it's really not. You just wanna slowly pull that back and try not to pull any of the vinyl up and be careful with the letters because you want that to stay on the transfer paper. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down all right, here I'm just taking the sack and I'm going to lay that down and then I'm going to place the vinyl where I think I want it on my sack just to see how it's going to look on the sack and if it'll fit. Now on the back side of the screen, I'm going to go ahead and just lay that down where I want it. And of course, take the squeegee and I did this the wrong way, but I realized next time around I did it right. So I would put the screen side down on the table so that way you don't have uh, that gap in between the table and the screen. And I'm just trying to get all the bubbles out here. And just carefully pull that back. Um, you want to be very careful not to pull up any of the letters because they will end up bleeding in your final um, screen print. 
So like here, I'm taking the little weeding tool and I'm just trying to lay that back down. And it's hard when you're using, when you've got little letters, it's hard to, you know, keep this from happening. But like I said, I should have done it a little bit different and laid the screen down on the table and squeegeed it that way. Next, I'm using this blue painter's tape. I'm gonna put this all around the area that I do not want ink to seep through. And when you're laying this down, try to make sure that you overlap the vinyl so that way you don't get any ink that will uh, tend to seep through. Okay, and I'm taking this cardboard and I'm putting this in between and the inside actually I'm, I'm taking the cardboard and I'm putting it on the inside of the sack that way there is no ink that will seep through and um, you know go through the back you want it just keep it on the front side so just find yourself a little bit of uh, cardboard to lay that in between so that way it doesn't bleed through and now you're gonna take your ink and you're just gonna start all the way at the top and just kind of put a good amount on there you don't want too much and you don't want too little you want just a good amount and you're just going to cover along the top. This stuff is very messy. If you do get it on your hands, it is washable. You can wash it off so you don't have to worry about that. And now for the fun part. So you're going to get your squeegee and you're going to go at an angle. So always start from the top and go straight down, but you want to go at an angle and just one good swipe down make sure you get it all in the grooves and I do it at least two or three times and you just press firmly that way all the ink goes through the letters and once you're done you're going to lift it completely up go straight up or at an angle that way it doesn't smudge in this case this was the first time doing it it did smudge a little bit but that's okay it takes a little trial and error before you get it right it took me about two times but here's the second time and it turned out perfect I'm taking a heat gun and I'm just going to add a little bit of heat to this to help it cure a little bit faster and help it dry these I would probably let sit overnight just to make sure that they're completely dry in a dry area and that's it I put my little dust covers on top I've got my sack I put the candles inside of the sack add my candle care card in every single one and that's it you've got yourself this cute little candle sack and it's just a nice little added touch for your customers when they purchase your candles that's it I hope you guys like the video um, let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions if you do this yourself I'd love to hear how yours turned out anyway guys if you're not subscribed please subscribe like the video hit the bell and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching